Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And let's talk about water for a few minutes. Uh, water is something that obviously is very important to us. It's essential for life. But water is a very important part of the, the green industry, the turf industry. And we oftentimes think about it as far as availability, uh, the cost of it. We may think about soluble salts and other issues associated with it. But one thing we often don't think a lot about is the pH of the water. And, and this has real implications when we think about pesticide use. And alkaline water has a tendency for some products, whether they be fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, to cause them to break down more quickly, and as a result, they are somewhat less effective. So really, we want our water to be seven or, or, or less more acidic, because that has a tendency to be a little more compatible with, with pesticide use. If you have alkaline water, you, might, you may be not getting all that you want out of your pesticides, so you may want to look into using an acidifier or a buffer to reduce that pH. And uh, this was all prompted because there was a recent study in Georgia that found within a very small geographic area, groundwater pH varied from about 4.8 all the way up to 9.7, and that's a really big range. And once you get above seven, you're really asking for issues with pesticide use. So I encourage you, you can buy a pH meter, you can buy them relatively inexpensively, test the water you're using for spraying, and make sure it's not alkaline, and if it is, take appropriate action. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again soon.